So inside of our application, we currently have Angular Fire, which is Firebase, and that allows us to interact with the database. Inside of this app, I do want to make a shopping list, which allows a user to add items, to delete items, to list items, and of course, edit items inside of the list. So let's start off by making a shopping list page. So we can use the Ionic command line interface to generate this. So what I want you to do is either head over to your terminal or you can use the integrated terminal inside of Visual Studio Code. That can be accessed by either dragging it from the bottom, like so, or alternatively, at least on a Mac, the shortcut is control and backtick. Let's now type Ionic generate page shopping list. And this allows us to generate a page named shopping list. We can now remove the home page by right clicking the folder and selecting delete. And inside of our app component.ts, instead of importing home page, we can instead import and instead of importing home page, we can import the shopping list like so. We'll need to change that to the shopping list page and set our root page to instead be the shopping list page. If you want to use lazy loading, you can of course create a module for this page and then instead of importing it, you can add it as a string like so. That's entirely up to you, but if you'd like to just continue the lecture as we're doing it, then leave it as we have it on screen here. So the next thing to do is tell our app module about this shopping list page. And that can be done by heading to appmodule.ts and we can remove home page. And instead, we can import the shopping list page once again. So you can just copy that from app components and add this to our declarations. And our entry components. At this stage, what we're telling Angular is that we have the following components inside of declarations and the entry components should only be used for pages. So if you have any standard components, simply add them to the declarations, but any pages should be added to the entry components. The final change, and you might not have to do this, but at the moment, there's currently a bug with the Ionic CLI. And when we do generate that page, we are left with this Ionic page decorator. You'll have to remove that from the shopping list component. When you do that, we can open up our application and we should be greeted with the shopping list page. To open our application inside of the browser, we can run Ionic Lab. As you can see, we are now greeted with our shopping list. Let's continue in the coming lectures to add the create, retrieve, update and delete functionality.